Hi everyone, this is Arfin. And today we are going to calculate Sortino ratio in Python, but in this video, we are going to uh, create a user defined function and we are going to automate the calculation of Sortino ratio in a few line of course compared to the last video. So let's start. So again, we are going to import libraries and as uh, SPD, import NumPy as NP, import pandas underscore data reader as web. Let's run this. Okay, so let's write a function. Sortino underscore ratio. Now we need the name of the stocks. We need start date. We need end date. We need mar, which is minimum acceptable return. Okay, so first we are going to download data. So data is equal to web dot data reader stocks comma data source Yahoo. start date is equal to start date and is equal to end date and of course we are going to use adjusted closing price okay now here we are going to put a loop so we will perform all our analysis or calculation after importing the data so let's do it so what we are going to do here is by the way i forgot to put one step here data is equal to because we need to uh, we need to tell python this is the data frame so it's a data frame pd dot data frame because if we are going to download data without defining what is data, because if we are going to run it, we will uh, get an error that data is not defined. So that's why we are going, we need to define every time what is data. So since it's a data frame, so let's run the loop here. Okay, for I n stocks okay so what i will do okay let's let me show it to you first so it will be more clear okay so data daily return because we need to calculate return but this time what i'm going to do i'm going to define return of multiple stocks so because the benefit of this function is like we can have a multiple stock analysis or fund analysis, whatever you want to put under this uh, stock. So you can go to Yahoo Finance and you can find the ticker and put it here. So data daily return is equal to data of I, which is price actually, dot percentage change. So we need to calculate downside return as well or downside deviation not return. So DD underscore that plus I. So what will happen? It will calculate downside deviation underscore Apple. Similarly, DD return underscore Apple or Facebook or Amazon or whatever you want equal to data data 
uh, we need to calculate downside deviation here. So downside deviation will be the negative uh, return in a day or in a month, whatever data period we are taking. So here we are taking the data frequency of uh, daily. Uh, so what we are going to do, we are just going to copy and paste it here. Okay. And it should be less than zero. And if you remember uh, in the last video, what we have done, because we cannot assign a three or four columns in a one column. So for that, what we need to do, we need to filter this column here. Just copy and paste, simple. Okay, now here we need to calculate return of a stock, it could be Apple or whatever. Now here I'm going to use chain link method. So NP dot product and under product, what I'm going to do is I have this daily return already column defined already, which is the important column here for calculation purposes. And then we need to add plus plus one here and then we need to subtract minus one which is the cal uh, formula for chain link method written calculation okay so here we have now we need to calculate downside deviation which is dd underscore i and in which what we are going to do we are going to take data dd underscore plus i we can again copy this one as it is because this is the column which we have defined here dot s t d which is the function and in python multiply np dot sqrt of 252 so since we are taking 252 uh, number of days so we are going to analyze it as per 252 work. So Sortino underscore I is equal to what we have, we have written already here, written underscore I minus Mar, which will be here, which we are going to provide every time because uh, every company have a different Mar or different uh, benchmark which they have defined in order to calculate it and so dd underscore i is our downside deviation okay let's print it so print just let me show it to you first how it will look like sorting underscore i okay let me run this now okay so sortino ratio okay so here i'm going to pass a list of a stock let me do it for apple first and then dates 1 oh, 1 2020 comma 12 31 2020 comma let's say 2 percent let's run this and see Okay, we got an error. So this is correct here. You can only get an Okay, right, right, right. Oops, okay, here is my mistake. I. This, see, we can see here, this is showing that this line of code have an issue. So it was plus one, which I have changed it to I. Let's run this again, 2.17. So in the, our previous calculation, we have noticed that the Sortino ratio was 2.217, perfect. So let's, let's put it in a proper way. So let's say, I Sortino ratio, is and then what we are going to do is we are going to 
calculate with curly braces okay zero point two f which is two decimal places dot format sortino of i so let's run this again nice so let me do it for multiple stock let's say amazon amzn comma ford comma journal motor okay so let's run this great so we have a certain ratio of apple amazon ford and journal motor that's nice so that's it for today i hope it will be easy and understandable if you have any question if you have any query just feel free to put your comments and if you want me to uh, calculate some risk cons just feel free to put it in the comment section below and i will definitely try my best to uh, present it and work on it in python so if you like this video please share and subscribe and please like my video thank you so much